sound effects play a very important role in any game. But finding the right sound effects that matches your game can be hard. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to create some awesome sound effects that also matches your game using a free tool called SFXR. So yeah, let's get started. So actually I've been working on this little dunk it like game and it turned out to be great. But I haven't yet added any sound effects to it. So if we hit play, let's try to move our ball. So as you can see the game has no sound. Even though with all the effects and stuff it kinda looks boring. So it's time we actually added some sound effects to bring this game to life, right? So let's just go back. So before we actually add the sound effects, we need to either create the sound effects on our own or just find the sound effects that we can actually use in our game. But for a hyper casual game like this, there is an awesome tool that we can use to create sound effects. And I've actually gone ahead and made an audio manager with this audio source and audio manager script that takes care of all the audio clips that we are going to use in our game like when the ball jumps, hits any surface or gets destroyed by the spike. So now in order to create the sound effects we first need to download SFXR. And also if you don't know how to make the audio manager, just check out the video up here. Alright now let's open up Chrome and search for SFXR. And here at the top you will see download SFXR softpedia. And if we just go down, you will see the BFXR, which, which actually is just a newer version of the SFXR. But for me, I like the SFXR better than the new one. It's kind of really simple for any beginner like myself. So I'm just gonna stick with the SFXR. Let's go ahead and click on free download. I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. Once you download this, you'll be seeing the folder like this. And here this tiny application that we can just open it up. And once you open it, you will see a simple UI like this. And here are a bunch of sound properties that you can tweak around to make your own sound effects. For now, let's just go inside of Unity and see what sound effects that we need. So let's just go for the jump SFX. As you can see, here are some of the pre presets that we can use, like this jump one. And if you keep clicking on it, it will just bring on a random jump sound by tweaking around these properties. And here you can also uh, tweak around with the properties of the preset uh, to get the desired effect. And also you can play around with the uh, properties up here to get different sounds. And once you find the correct, so you don't have to click on the jump because it will just create a new one. So if you want to play the sound, just click on play sound here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tweak some of the properties. I think I'll just use this one here. You can of course play around and get your desired sound effect but I'm just gonna go with this one here. And in order to save the sound, uh, we'll actually export the sound, you will have to just go with the export.wav and it will export the sound in .wav format. Just select the folder and if we just go back, here it is, so the jump sound, if we just play this, yep. Alright so now we have our jump sound. What we need to do is create uh, the other ones and now we need to create the hit and die and score. Alright let's go back to SFXR and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly create these sound effects here something like this. Yep so just keep hitting on it until you get your desired sound effect. If you're someone like me who is a beginner I'm just gonna go ahead and use the presets for now. But you can always tweak them around if you know a thing or two about the sound properties. Alright, I think this looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead and export all of the sound effects. Alright, so I have created and exported all of the sound effects into Unity. And let's just drag and drop them here. Okay, so yeah, we have all of our sound effects. And we can actually just go ahead and test them out right now. And yeah, I think it already started to look much better with sound, right? And the explosion sound at the end, right? So all our sounds are working. 
Uh, of course, I wouldn't use these ones if I were to actually publish this. I'll try to make the sound effects with my game, which uh, you should probably do as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use these ones, right? Now that we know how SFXR works, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how BFXR works, which is a newer version of SFXR. Uh, and I've already downloaded the BFXR. I'm just gonna leave the link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. All right, here we go. And it's uh, kind of similar to the SFXR with all the presets and stuff, but it has got a huge list of properties which if you are a beginner like me, uh, you wouldn't understand either. So, so you better stick to the presets to know how things work, right? Uh, they are kind of the same, but SFXR is quite easy if you are a beginner. You can of course change these properties to get uh, different sounds. Something like this. Play around with these. It also tells you what it also tells you what the different properties do, right? Like this randomized one and the mutation. It will just uh, mutate the different sounds. But again, uh, I don't really understand much about the sound properties because I'm a beginner, and if you're something like me, just stick to the presets. All right, and. Yeah, let's just close this for now and yeah that's basically it I guess for the video and I hope this will give you a start and now I'm just gonna go ahead and play the game and see if I can beat the score all right well oh no this was just a warm-up let's let's try again Let's try to get a high score. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Yep. I can do that. Yep, that's more like it. Way to go, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, that, that was too close. It's, it's better with the combo and stuff. And also let me know if you want me to make a tutorial series about the hyper casual games for the mobile, something like this. So yeah, 79, not bad. Alright, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe.